our problem-based learning is a method of learning which puts the problem before the theory and allows the student to come up with a set of learning objectives to allow them to solve the problem and in that way the students are active um, participants in the learning process rather than passive recipients. The benefits of problem-based learning for students are that because they are active participants they become more motivated, they set their own learning objectives and the learning then becomes individual to them. Because it's individual it's more interesting. In addition they learn how to learn because they have to learn how to set objectives, they have to learn what resources they need to um, approach those objectives, set aside those objectives and in that way they learn how to become independent in their learning so that in the longer term they have all the skills and um, abilities to go on and learn any subject they want. So the subject itself almost becomes secondary to the processes of learning in problem-based learning. Well, teacher is a bit of a misnomer really in PBL because the, there isn't a teacher. The students teach um, one another and um, the teacher is really a tutor or a facilitator of learning and they're teaching the students or they're showing the students how to develop the skills to uh, access knowledge, extract information and apply that knowledge to the learning objectives that they set for themselves. So they become almost like a driving instructor rather than a chauffeur um, taking the student on a journey from A to B. Problem-based learning is unique in that it relies on students having really good social interaction and interpersonal skills because they're learning from each other, uh, their peers become the learned other that they're learning from. So there is a, a problem in, 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 with PBL that the groups need to get on and students need the skills to interact with other people for learning and the facilitator can be instrumental in helping students uh, to cross any difficult bridges in that regard. So my question would be what skills do um, tutors need to develop and do they have those skills to become uh, facilitators of social interaction for learning? <laughs>